Okay, the problems you're going to be doing today, again, we're doing one together, you're doing five on your own, and because of our short class, it's going to have to be homework. So set aside 15, 20 minutes. It shouldn't take you too long tonight. We're going to do number 34 together on page thir um, 366. You are given an equation, and the equation you're given for this is y is equal to negative 3x plus 4. You're also given a point on the graph that's part of a second line. And your task is to write a new equation that this point would be on the line of that graph that is perpendicular to this equation. So knowing that, we can start this equation by saying what would the slope be for an equation that's perpendicular to this one? The negative reciprocal would be what? 1 over 3. 1 over 3x three. Three plus wherever it's going to cross the y-intercept. And we don't know what that is right now. So our goal is to discover what this b is and erase it and fill it in with where the second line on the graph would cross the y-intercept. So this place here is where we're going to end up with our answer. But we have some information here we can use to go find this without graphing it. Now, you could use point slope form because we're given a point and we have the slope. I've said it before, I'll say it again, point slope form, not my favorite equation. I was at the high school yesterday, the Algebra 1 class was working with point slope form, not their favorite equation either. So instead, because I, I'll be honest, I was sitting next to Miss Solomon and I was doing the do now, and she's like, you mixed up your negatives. I'm like, of course I did, because it's point slope form, and I always mix up my negatives with point slope form. I don't mix up my negatives when I do this. I know that y is equal to mx plus b. What's my mx, my m here? <coughs> One third. Thank you. I can take this point that is on this line and I can plug the x and y in, and I can go find the b. What's the x in this xy pair? Six. So I'm going to rewrite this as y is equal to 1 third 6 plus b. And now I want to erase the y and plug in the y from this xy pair, which is negative 2. And I'm going to solve 1 third times 6 first, which is 2. So my rewrite the equation is negative 2 is equal to 2 plus b. I'm doing this work because what am I missing up here? The b. The b. So if I get this b by itself, I'm going to find out where this second line would cross the y-intercept. I'm going to subtract 2. And I end up with negative 4 equals b. So I'm going to go back up to my answer space that I set aside. And I'm erasing this and I'm going to put negative 4. I want you guys to look at what happened with this equation and this equation, because a question came up when we did this in third period. Somebody asked, is it always true that if you add a plus this, that the, plus, the b on the other is going to be the opposite of it? And I'm going to tell you, as you solve the 5 you're doing tonight, look and see if there's a pattern. Is this always the case? Do you see how this ended up being the opposites? I'm not positive what the answer to that is. I'd like to see what happens when we do the work. But picture if you're doing perpendicular lines, there's a center point where they're crossing. It might be true that these are always this way, but let's find out. The problems you're going to do today, and we do have a little time left, so I will display them up on the board so you guys don't have to go get a book are just five problems on page 366 that you can do exactly like we did here.